Hello and welcome to uh, Brave New World. Um, we're going to play this game as China. Um, China has a couple special abilities. Um, the Art of War, so they get uh, more great generals. Um, they get them 50% 50, 50 faster and they're 15% better. Um, they also have a special military unit, um, the Chokunu, which is a, a crossbowman that can fire twice in a turn, which is pretty awesome. Um, they also get this paper maker, which is their version of a library, which earns them money rather than costing them money. So that's that's pretty cool too, that you can increase your science without costing your empire money, actually making you money by through science. So that's that's very nice. So this game is set up a little bit differently. Um, I set this up um, because I was really missing playing Alpha Centauri a lot. Um, it's one of my favorite games um, next to Civilization V. So I kind of wanted to sort of combine the two together. So what I did is I made a huge map um, that we are playing on. Um, and then I went and I selected uh, nations to represent members of the United Nations Security Council. The idea being uh, that the United Nations constructed a, a space arc to get humanity off of a dying planet. Um, in this scenario, because um, the Mayans were correct about 2012 being the end of the world. Um, so the United Nations built this arc, sent it off into space with representatives from all of the Security Council members, both the permanent and non-permanent members of the Council, um, went off into space. The space arc did a survey around Alpha Centauri, um, and then there was a disaster. It exploded um, either through, you know, a technical mistake or some treachery or something happened, um, and all of these uh, colony pods went down all over the Earth, or all over Alpha Centauri, I should say. Um, and so we have each of the nations of the Security Council: so China, Russia, the United States, France, uh, and Great Britain. And then we also have nations that are going to stand in for um, non-permanent members of the Security Council. Um, for example, um, for um, well, when, when we meet them, we'll we'll say who they are. But like, for example, Argentina is Spain, and Guatemala is the Mayans, and the nation of Togo is uh, the Songhai Empire. And Rwanda is the Zulus. Um, the Australians are Indonesia. Um, and so on. I tried to pick um, where, uh, where I could. I tried to pick newer civilizations to stand in for them. Some of them are pretty good fits. Some of them um, are you kind of have to squint sideways and, and pretend. But I think it'll make for an interesting game and kind of give us a compelling story. So that all being said, um, let's begin our journey. So we founded Beijing. Um, we decided to call the city uh, Zen Beijing, which is uh, Chinese for new. At least that's my closest approximation, not speaking Chinese, that I can come up with. Um, we're working on a scout. Um, we're also, let's see what we chose for science. So we're going for pottery. Uh, first, and then we're going to go straight for writing. Um, I want to try and get the Great Library as soon as possible. It's going to be um, it's going to be hard for us to get the Great Library. Everyone wants it. It's a great wonder of the world. Um, and if we can get it, it'll do really great things for us. So these guys are going to move. We discovered some ancient ruins. So we're going to go check those out. We've got, um, you can see we've got lots of incense around us, um, which is going to be very good for us. Um, we can either get, um, there's a couple different religions that we can found that'll be good for us. We could go after the deserts, um, we could go after the plantations for the incense, or we could go after the goddess, the god of festivals, I think it is. Um, so we have lots of choices to take advantage of this. Um, my favorite one, um would be to combine the incense along with um, monasteries later on to really get the most benefit out of it. 
Um, let's see what's in this ancient ruin. Okay, we got 50 gold. And we found some barbarians. So the barbarians, um, we're going to have to fight them. Um, in our little scenario that we've set out, barbarians um, are the, the native life of this planet. And they hate us. They want nothing but our death. There's no reasoning with them. Um, there will be no peace between our people. Um, one of us has to go, and it's not going to be us. So we're going to kill these barbarians. Um, I'm circling around the camp right now, both getting some extra turns of exploration in, and also trying to see if there's, you know, maybe a hill right next to the camp somewhere that we could fight from to give us what little, you know, terrain bonuses we can get. That would be nice if we could get some of that. Still working on the settler. I'm sorry, the scout. Okay, up to here. And over to there. So it doesn't look like there's really anywhere we could launch an attack from. There's hills over here, but they're not really adjacent to um, the barbarian encampment. At least I don't... No, they're not adjacent to it. So we're just going to launch our attack from here. Depending on how many bar barbarians we find, um, we're going to pick up honor at some point. Um, it's either going to be honor or tradition to start us out with. Um, really depends. If we find a lot of barbarians, we're going to go with honor first. If we don't find a lot of barbarians, uh, we're going to go with tradition. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, this guy can go over here. So we have to build our next thing in Beijing. Sorry, New Beijing. And I'm sure I'm butchering the Chinese, um, so I apologize, but that's that's the best I can do until someone tells me better. So I want to build... I think I want to build a worker. Um, I'm going to bank some turns on the worker. Um, no, we're going to get a monument first. Um, let's queue up the worker, though. So once pottery comes out, um, we're going to try and get a shrine. Um, I want to get that religion going when we can. I'm going to heal up here um, because we can heal and barbarians can't. And at this point, that's our advantage against them. Is we can heal, they can't. So we definitely want to use that to our advantage. It'll make it a little bit slower, but we shouldn't die that way. Um, and having a unit die this early in the game is really bad. Um, we just don't have the resources to replace lost troops. Okay. More barbarians. Um, and there's also a barbar... Uh, sorry, an ancient ruins over here. So we're going to kind of go along the coast here and see if we can't scout that out. Uh, these barbarians are really close. Um, we really should deal with them. Um, so when this guy over here... Um, finishes fighting the other barbarian camp, if he's still alive, um, we're going to go down there and try and take him out. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Um, we might get archery, maybe, and build an archer to take them out. We're making a lot of money. More people in our city. That's really good. Um, it's only turn 10, and our population is already 3. So we are able to work a lot of different um, squares right now. Um, you can see we're making six gold a turn. Um, I wonder if we change to a production focus. Okay, still four turns. Um, and the same amount. It doesn't, doesn't make any difference. We don't have enough population yet to really switch around that much. Okay, we'll keep exploring. So I don't want to try and fight these guys with... Um, these scouts, it's just going to end badly. Um, we will die. Um, we're not strong enough to fight barbarians. As much as we might wish that we could, um, we can't. Now, if we get stuck in a fight with barbarians, we can kind of fight our way out of that. But going and purposely engaging them... Shall the clay say to him idea. that fashioneth it? What makest thou? I always like the quotes. Um, so we're going to keep exploring. 
on these hills so we can see what's going on. Let's go up here. Okay, so they spawned another unit. Um, I'm going to attack the encampment again. And then I'm going to rest. We're just going to keep chipping away at them um, until we can we can wipe them out. Somebody got promoted. He got promoted. This guy's on the planes. He's on the planes, so we're going to get the terrain bonus for open terrain. And we're going to heal. I probably could take this guy out, but then I would have to fight this guy being wounded, really badly wounded, and him full up. So I'd rather, I'd rather take the camp out slowly and safely. Um, because there's two units. Okay. Bienvenue. Je suis Napoléon. So we met the French. Le militaire le plus intelligent de l'histoire mondiale. Modest as always. So let's keep exploring over here. We're looking for ancient ruins and other civilizations. Um, let's talk to the French and see if there's any kind of trade deal we can work out with them. Bonjour. Maybe we can trade them. Nope, nobody. Tu disais? Anything to trade. I was thinking maybe we could trade them um, an embassy for like a gold a turn just to squeeze a little bit out of it. But it doesn't look like we have the technology or they don't have the technology. So that's not going to work. Now hopefully if these barbarians do spawn some units and start coming after New Beijing, we'll be able to fight them off. Um, I want to get to writing first and that's probably where we'll stop the video and get ready for our our march towards the Great Library. We'll keep going here. We're looking, like I said, looking for ancient ruins or other cultures. Okay, there's another ancient ruin. So we're going to keep hammering away at this uh, barbarian so now I think we're just going to finish them off. Um, we'll get 25 gold for doing it. We won't be hurt that much. Um, as they get weaker, they can inflict less damage back on us. Um, they have diminishing returns for what they can do. Um, and if, as we keep healing, we're able to hit them pretty hard. So let's see what's up here. He who commands the sea has command of everything. Okay. Um, sailing is not the technology I was looking for, but it is, it is a technology. We do get a trade route out of it. Um, so I'll take it. <sighs> okay. So now we're still going to wipe out the camp, but we're probably going to have to rest at that point because it spawned another one. We're going to get um, our social policy, which probably will be honor to help this guy survive. And then these guys are going to attack us. That's almost... We barely, barely, barely survived. This is all. This is pretty much exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Is get to the point where we are hurt so badly um, that we really can't survive. So what we're going to do um, is... We're going to retreat back towards our capital. Um, and try and heal up in there. I don't know if it's going to work. I think they're probably just going to attack us next turn and kill us. Uh, which will definitely suck. But I don't think there's too much we can do about it. We're going to go up here. It doesn't look like there's too much up here. Let's get that policy. We'll get honor. Hopefully that guy can survive and then we can fight back against those barbarians. Almost got writing. Um, I don't think we're going to get our worker before um, writing happens. Let's see if we go to a 
seven turns. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to really get this worker done. I'm willing to spend two turns working on the worker um, and then switch over to the Great Library, but uh, mainly because I hope that I can get um, the marble in time, that that'll kind of equal each other out. So while we're talking about it, no, I'll buy the marble when once I have Mason. More ancient ruins, that's good. So the barbarians have left us, um, so we're gonna continue running back home, strategically retreating from the aliens that are trying to kill us. I think would be the nice way to say it. Keep going. Let's see what's in this. Okay, we got extra culture. That's always going to be a good thing. We'll be able to pick up tradition now and really start piling on the culture at that point. Which will be good um, because we'll be able to also pick up the social policy um, to speed up Wonders of the World to help us get the Great Library. The Great Library is really key to our plan here. nothing. Just make sure. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Well, someone's calling, but they can just wait. Okay, so we get a policy. We're going to take the policy of tradition. To jack our culture up, which is good, so it'll fuel our getting more and more policies, which is going to be good for us. So this guy is going to pop into Beijing and heal. He'll also be able to guard our um, our worker. So I want to come down here and start exploring this uh, to the south, this kind of desert area where we saw the French. Okay, so there's more barbarians um, here, which is okay because Beijing will be able to fire at them, um, and we don't really have anything for them to destroy. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. So we're going to shoot him. Now whether a unit kills him or the city kills him, we'll still get the culture for it. We won't get any experience unless a unit um, engages in battle with him. But until this guy heals up, that's a trade-off that we can take. I definitely want to get archery. We're going to need some troops. We're making enough money to be able to buy those archers. So an archer and a warrior working together would be really good to clean up these barbarian encampments that we're finding. That combination um, of being able to just rain death down on them with the archers and then hack them apart with the warriors is, is really strong. Um, relatively speaking, strong. Okay, so we're almost done with the worker, at which point we're going to switch over to the Great Library. There's more barbarians coming in, but our warrior is almost healed up. So let's do this. Let's kill him off with the warrior so he gets some experience. This guy, um, okay, so I think instead of the archer, we're going to go for, for masonry. I really do would like the archers, but I really want the great library, and I have to do everything I can to get it. Um, so what it means is we're probably going to avoid those barbarian camps and just deal with them um, as they pour into Beijing. Or maybe this guy will go out a little bit and start... Um, Exploring. Exploring. So, this guy, um, I'm going to move him over to here, to this wheat field, to build on that. I would like to get the incense. Um, I'd like that a lot. Um, but until these barbarians are gone, I don't want to put them on the other side of the river. And we're going to choose our production. We're going to take the great library. We're going to work our butts off to get it. 
There we go. 27 turns. Um, that would put it at turn 52. So we will see if we can get it. Um, hopefully that will increase... Um, the, the time will go down um, as we get social policies, as we get uh, the marble. Um, we should be able to, to take that down. That's the goal. So uh, I hope you come back and continue exploring this, uh, this brave new world of Alpha Centauri with me.